on the bench. Liam Berger, Christian Berger, Adrian van der Lengen. Watch out for uh, Josh O'Neill, the regular fullback of Paul Kim returning from injury. He was good in that second side clash as well. 1868. That's the uh, portion. Paul Kim will run out from behind the post. Harry, something slightly different, and they'll go through about 50 meters of their learners. Yeah, 50 meter is 50 meter van a droom weer eens wat gewag wordt voor hierdie jongmanne om hier te zijn en die medeleerders die te draf. The most SA schools players produced by any school by quite a long way comes from Grey College. 121 players have represented their country at under 18 level. And that is more than second and third place. Paul Gymnasium and Paul Boys High combined. It is the true rugby factory of South Africa visiting another real powerhouse. It is school rugby at its very finest. Brought to you by Supersport Schools live on Channel 216 and the Supersport Schools app. World Cups are won 10 year in advance. That's what we believe at Supersport Schools. And today you will see men taking the field or boys taking the field that will become men and perhaps one day represent South Africa in a World Cup. The visitors, Grey College, led by Liam Lem van Weyck, the inspirational captain and hooker. And Paul Gymnasium will be led out by Kurbus Blankenberg. Just listen to the roar. Hands to the chest. Heart beating at 100 beats a minute. And in the legendary movie of Leon Schuster, sweet and short, it was said, this is it, bossy. This is it, Savage. Yeah, he's uh, Bossies, but um, getol will gaan word op hier die uh, rugby veld vanmiddag. En nou gerus op Marinus Dali, Amanda van Belvilse Wereld, Kenrich Laarskool. Nummer 5 try, seine gemaakt hier aan die kant van de Perl Gymnasium. En jij dit genoem, Ethan Adams en Pieter van Merwe. Een groot strijd wat wacht, Marcus Muller en Kopus Blankerberg aan die kant van de Perl Gymnasium. En bij die los trio. Quinton Potgieter, Kotti Kotze en Jan Kochlenberg aan die kant van Gymnasium. Met Liam Santos, Cosmo en Smit aan die kant van Grey. 15 matches between these two sides since 1954. Great College have won eight. Paul Gim has won five and two has ended in draws. Their most recent encounter was at the Noordside tournament last year at Afrikaans Hoerschian School in Pretoria. Where Great College was victorious with the biggest winning margin between these two schools by 33 points to 12. Marcus Miller with ball in hand. He played Grand Como week in 2023 and captain the Paul Kim under 16 side. And he's a battle with Ethan the Tank Adams in midfield. Two grade 11 pupils. And it is an early change of direction and miscommunication immediately on the side of Great College as Peter van der Merwe and Ruben Silier wasn't sure who to take. And the first blow to Paul Gymnasium. A good afskop geweest dear Marcus Muller. It is not that communication, as you call it. What will it mean? The first fast scrum that will be heard on the span of Perl Gymnasium. Tight head prop for Paul Gym, Eli Williams. He received a hammering at scrum time last week in Pretoria. At the hands of Afis. Plenty of work would have been put in by Helmut Leerman. And company, Davi Tron, I'm sure, would have been at practice this week as well. Davi Tron, very instrumental here by the africhting of Perl Gymnasium. As we know, the two africhters, Peter Rousseau, Helmut Lehmann, africhters. Two teams sizing each other up. Helzeden Felix, the man from Himansdorp, instrumental on defence for Great College. Meltful Yun, Eli Williams out the back, Marcus Miller. That was a good defence in the backs for Great College. Williams, his second carry already, massive hit by Heinrich Tron. Stian de Goede, his first carry. Meltful Yun. Phase after phase for Paul Gymnasium. Green, solid line of defence for Great College. Meltful Yun, he lost 18 Ks during the off-season. Worked hard with uh, Iapia Willefie. 
Just look at that defence in the midfield by Peter van Amerwe. He's turned it over. But it's the double turnover, triple over, turnover. And eventually, Philip McLaren plays it back to Alzeden Felix. He finds good space with his right boot. He's opposite number, John Le Green. Replies in kind. Felix setting up for the torpedo. We don't see that often. It drifts back uh, infield for Freak de Kock. He draws a good tackle from uh, Alzeden Felix. Forwards sizing each other up early on. All the possession thus far belonging to the host. Paul Gymnasium, Marcus Miller. Great tackle by the eighth man, Liam Santos. Good gedoen, dear Santos, the eighth man. Tijdsberekening van die Dijkslag. Die is goed. And then the process, ball over the kant line. Swak aangeer na die rechter, veel Emmanuel Prinsloo. Maar is die Dijkslag. Waar die omgekeerde besit verseker. Line out, split into two parts. Vargo College, there's the behemoth, Heinrich Tron wearing number four, 115 kgs. He's uh, the South African school's a shot put champion is Heinrich Tron. Finished second in the discus as well. McLaren, Julian Cosmo, first chance for Grey College with ball in hand. McLaren, who played uh, seven or eight games first side last year as well for Grey College. Donny Burkria, the vice head boy of Grey College, over the advantage line. Felix changes direction with the right boot. Was that the right option? Not sure about it. Yeah, ball is it that is in the process. A makkelijke geleentheid for Perl Gymnasium om weg te komen here uit al 22. Dalk a better option. Hou ball in hand in that situation. But Felix has Dalk iets gezien. Probeer. Die dwarskopie, die uitvoering van die taak, niet helemaal zoals wat hij dit graag wil gehad heeft. Muller goes deep with a restart onto Peter van der Merwe. He's a dangerous runner with ball in hand as Peter van der Merwe. Well watched. Felix acts a scrum off. Another carry for Boer Kreer. Tron out the back to Felix. The flat ball not going to hand. It was Liam Santos coming in against the grain. That's Philip McLaren penalised for being our offside. Jean de Bot, our referee. Yeah, very moeilijk for a speler. The whip of the ball. It's so moeilijk om not to play the ball. I've seen uh, that was well a gelegenheid. And now a gelegenheid for Freek de Kok. A long afstand scope wat wag. Net over the 50 meter. A lichte wijnkie van achteraf, as ons net weer kyk. En die proces, die bal verloor en in die uit die onkant positie, skramskakel aan die kant van Gray. Philip McLaren, maar die bal speel, rede vir die strafskop. Freak de Kok. He's got a big boot on him. He proved that in Pretoria last weekend. Kick Paul Gim to victory over Afis. Very metronomical in his approach. He strikes it well. Kicks it low, but it's uh, low and two. And much to the enjoyment of the Paul crowd. It is Paul Gymnasium who takes an early lead by three points to nil. Spreek de Kok, but with so strong in the hips is Ethan Adams. A little pick and go by Liam van Veik. Turned over by uh, Quentin Potgita. The great 11 man who grew up on the same farm as Brayton Paulsa and the Koa Boca fell. Oh, Melt for you with that trusty left boot. Sends it skywards. Felix takes well. And he finds a Heinz Stockenstrup. The fullback. Siabonga Kenny in support. Gets set uh, well and truly taken back by Emmanuel Prinsler. Korea shrugs off the first fantastic carry by the big tight head. Santos They're finding weak shoulders to run at this great college side. Felix, little short ball. Beautiful 
play by Zander Smith and good appreciation of the laws. But it's JJ Dupria with a rip for Paul Gymnasium and there's space on the outside. Can they get it through the hands? It's Miller. He kicks it downfield. Stockenstrom with plenty of time. Throws the long ball. Does a Heinz Stockenstrom. And a fantastic kick by Elsie Felix. Beautiful play by the fly off of Great College. By a good vision, dear he lost Kakel, and in ten days, ball, been a spell gebly. It was a moeilijkheid for gymnasium. Good gelees, dear he lost Kakel. Elsie Felix at the oog for ruimte. Zander Smit, who wears number six, the son of Philip Smit on the side of Great College. His brother, John Henry, played number six in 2022 and 2023. So they've made that number six jersey their property in the Smit family. Darby Stemmett, well, okay. he played uh, third side for Paul Gymnasium in 2023. Maria Darling. Starling. Not the greatest of uh, communication at line out time, but eventually it was won by Paul Gymnasium. Full Yun slowing things right down. Kicks it skywards. And Ruben Silier loses that one forward. For a moment, Emmanuel Prince would have worried had he played uh, Ruben Silier in the air there. The ball was very good geplaatst, a good score, opgevolgd door Prinsloo, a player who is in the lucht, as you can see right now. You heard John the Bot shouting, Nege, Nege. He broke the 10 metre line before that line out was over. And those are the penalties that really anger a coach, Gary Skippers. For sure. Yeah, the verduidelijking. I can't even move on the line stand, in the after line. Hij was niet 10 uit nie. Maak net dood zeker die 10 meter. Dit die rede vir die strafskop. As Blankenberg die vraag kyk. Het is vannacht opgekom. Dier die skramskakel. Meld Viljoen. Geleentheid dan vir Grey om sake gelijk te maak hier in die perl. Kovis Blankenberg. En Freak de Kok. They live on adjoining farms in the Kuberg district just outside Durbanville. Their fathers, Hannes and Kuss, are neighbours. Nine stock and strip with the kicking duties for Grey College. He pulls that one. And the first chance goes to begging off to 11 minutes for Grey College. But still, Paul Gymnasium 3, Grey College 0. Van af te werk. Drie wat gedrukt is. Moedelijk gelijk na Stian de Goede. Ja, maar just well be de Goede. En Jean de Bot perfectly positioned. En het is Paul Gymnasium who take the lead once more. Freak de Kok. He's not going to miss from right in front. En a seven point gap opens up for the home side. But it's at scrum time where they've made massive strides since last weekend. Well, Quinton Potgieter geweest. Hij is die man waar die drie gaan kry achter zijn naam. Een pracht drie gedruk, die drie achtste man. Is gymnasium man wa. That's well taken from the kickoff by Marina Starling. They're doing the basics well, as we knew they should would. Such a well coached unit, this Paul Gymnasium outfit. Peter Rousseau and Helmut Leerman and co. Full unit. That one goes straight up. They do still work out sometimes. It is uh, Peter van der who's uh, heavily tackled. Heinrich Tron taking aim at Darling and company. Van der Merwe. He goes uh, straight through the middle. There's uh, Peter van der Merwe. Finding Ethan Adams on his shoulder. Great interplay by the two centers of Great College. 
Now on the front foot, Kurier. He takes another couple to bring him down. Alzeden Felix gets his hands uh, through the tackle. Does Felix finds uh, Philip McLaren? Draws a, a great tackle from uh, Marcus Miller. Does uh, Philip McLaren? Lem van Veit, the captain of Great College, on the charge. Pick and go, the tactic. Penalty advantage. And a penalty it is. Oh my, what a schoolboy rugby game on our hands yet, the uh, Krill. Great College, but back far like as they direct spiel. The momentum, the only one the momentum there is, is that uh, Perl Gymnasium, what moet Skarl op verdedigen. Great College is going to come with a trick play from the training field. No tricks from Lem van Weck, just uh, burrowing straight ahead. Boer Krier straight through the middle. Held up the call from Jean de Bort. Great College mentioning that they got it down. He says, I cannot see there. And you cannot blow what you cannot see. Love the answer. Short, straight, direct. I cannot see. The answer from the G, the Eri Skeitsrechter. But Great College was very hard to get on the goal line of Gim. And again, a chance to get the man to get in. Scrum Schakel, Philip McLaren, who is going to win. That is a man for the future, Philip McLaren. Finds himself in the right place so often. We've seen a couple of big hits from him already as well on defence. Good scrum from Grey College. McLaren feeds Alzeden Felix. Alzeden Felix. They were all waiting for Peter van der Merwe. He knew that. And that is a try you can put behind the name of Peter van der Merwe just for that bustling run just now. Felix knew everybody was waiting. He went on his own. Goeie visie, dier die looskakel. Maar een sterk scrum. Die harde werk het gekom. Een goeie linkerskouwer. Dian Venter, wat hard gewerk het. Die looskop stuit. En dit skip die platform vir die looskakel, Felix. En hy daar die ruimte gesien. Glibberig, glij hy dier. En as Krijk College, wat sake kan gelijk maak. He played Craven Week as a fullback last year, did Alzeden Felix. He had his critics after that game against Jeppy, as did a lot of the Grey College players. Stockenstrom looking to add the extras and level the scores once more. He turned around immediately. It's 10 all at the Yard Krill. And the shadow of uh, Paul Mountain at last. Harry Skippers, as if it was meant to be. Paul Mountain, we can see it. The mist has lifted. The sun that uh, out is here in the pair. Hey, from the Paul Gymnasium captain. A big carry by Jan Kuchlenberg. The hostel vice head boy at Paul Gymnasium. Stemmet. Gets uh, heavily tackled in midfield now. John Legreen to Freak de Kock. Rather undecisive and he gets picked up. And carried back and it's ripped in the tackle. And here goes the Ethan the Tank Adams. Oh my word, desperation defense. But the tank is in action. He's here today. We had Dijkslag, dear Looskakel, Sean Le Green. Hij gaat naar red. Net weer kijk, Adams. Groot gebouw. Tien aan die kantlijn. En Green wat inkom. Met zijn spoed. Maak hij zeker. Hij red voor gymnasium. 105 kg's in his socks, Ethan Adams. This is great up in a skull. Not sure. At my house, it can weigh up to 105. It's been lots of movement at line out time. That's a good one. Marina Starling takes four chemis. Julian Cosmo called off it by John de Bort. Trying to set a platform for Freak de Kock or Tron Le Green. Even Melt Fulyun himself with that trusty old left booter gets charged down. And it's Philip McLaren. Gets uh, stopped a meter short. Aya Mayer with a pick and go. Aya Mayer crashes over. Did he score that? Surely he did. Jean de Bot said it's lost forward. 
His assistant is in conjunction with him. Oh, so close after the charge down. But now the Oomlik of Fir Gymnasium. He lost the Dijkslag. And he proces. Good gedoen. Ball wat afgestorm is. Now we can see this nice look. Ball wat verloor was in the Dijkslag. Massive scrum. And it's Blankenberg who evades uh, the first. John de Bot, he gave uh, Heinrich Tron four opportunities to lose the ball, lose the ball, lose the ball. But has any forward Gary? <laughs> they don't listen. Hanna is on the ball, why is he lost hard gewerk daarvoor? I mean, he was on his foot. Freek de Kok. He's going to let Gymnasium a little bit of awesome. a Philip McLaren got close initially. And then it was Aya Meyer with a pick and go. Yeah, right call made by Jean de Bort. Brilliant referee. Lost at the line out again now, Liam van Weyck. He's so good in corkscrewing out of those initial hits, is Liam van Weyck. And they go back. No advantage it was uh, lost forward in line out time by uh, Gymnasium. And it's so great to see and hear these two schools in full voice. Last time they met in Paul, Harry Skippers was in 1988 at Paul Gymnasium and it was a 9 all draw. Ruben Kruger played for Grey College on that occasion. Man who would later become a World Cup winner in 1995. The vice head boy of Great College, Dani Boer Kreer, a man who's at 91 percenter at academic level top 10 in grade 12 at Grey College good scrum. scrum good scrum Jean Jacques Dupree got it on a string fantastic kick Sean Legreen brilliant play Paul Gymnasium that's how you turn defense into attack and Naas Boot as himself a glimlach here for Daris Kop Sean Legreen very good tref by the ball but the ruimte gesien and as Loskakel, Felix wat te laat kan bijkom. It's uh, a 50-22. So it's uh, the put-in of Paul Gymnasium. And, and this is a critical moment in the match. Ja, Gymnasium met die vorige twee lijn staan en gesukkel met die communicatie. Weer is dit uh, die lijn staan wat niet goed verloop voor Gymnasium nie. Just look at Philip McLaren go at Darby Stemmet. Right in front of the Paul Gymnasium scholars. And uh, his teammates just asking him, calm down. Oh, that's brilliant from Liam van Weyck. That's uh, a brilliant captain who does that, Gerry Skippers. And uh, gesels met hom net in die oor. Harde duikslag gewees. En dis oor die kantlijn. And we are sure that they have met each other, even a few words that were used. Also the presence of mind of Philip McLaren, he knew he was going to be hit hard to get the ball back on the inside. I'll tell you what, his dad is a reverend in Valcom. He'll have a word with him, will uh, Flippy McLaren. He was also the man in charge at my wedding ceremony, <laughs> Flippy McLaren. Oh yeah, may I? That's beautiful line out play, Liam Santos. Now Peter van der Merwe on the charge back. Look at him go. Sit down, JJ De Priya says that. School captain of Great College, Peter van der Merwe. Get back, get back. McLaren with a little dink. It's uh, eventually one back, but then uh, into touch. He wanted that one to go four or five meters further than Philip McLaren. 
hier met die draai van de rustheid zal het definitief Lehman wees ons net weer kyk, een goeie loopie dier die binnencenter, dit is Pieter van Amerwe met sy kraag loopie, maar as haar haalt gesels word dier Helmut Lehman, die lijn staan en nie wat het moet wees vir een gym nie. You just feel that they're overcomplicating it Harry, there's lots of movement, and I am Mayo once again, steals it, Zander Smit in midfield with a good carry, it's picked up by uh, Van Wijk, And now Liam Santos being called over for a chat. Can you the body scores? Can you balance clearly? Okay, let's move where the line can. Penalty to body scores. Thank you, Mr. And all of a sudden, it's become a little bit chillier again. On the neck. Harry Skippers, it was suns out, guns out. Now it's the jacket back on. Yeah, go we look here in the peril. Hij is definitief weer zijn kop uitgesteekt, Freek de Kok. Hij maakt zeker. Nee, en als ik zeg zeker, Johan, is het Grijmer niet in hand van. Als hij Felix gets past de first, en dan Cosmo takes his eyes off it. Eli Williams with a good carry. Much to the excitement of the gymnasium crowd. This is a critical phase of play for both these sides. It's on the stroke of half time, it's 10 all, the cross kick. And it's beautifully taken by Moorman. Marcus Miller. Peter van der Merwe had hands on that ball. He's called off it. And now it's as if they understand the severity of this moment. Gymnasium. Eli Williams gets tackled by Zander Smith. To the short side they go. And a high shot by uh, Philip McLaren. Penalty advantage. They'll have a shot at goal of uh, nothing more. The little dab ahead. Marcus Miller with a splunk and back. The severity of the moment was understood. On the track of half time, Paul from Marcian with a hammer blow to Gray College. And it's Captain Fantastic, Blankenberg. But put that down to Chandler Green and Marcus Muller. Jean Le Green krijgt die vannacht gebesit. Kijk op, zijn kortskoppie. Goed geplaatst, opgevolgd door Marcus Muller. Een tijdsberekening naar de aangeven van die, kap, naar die kaptein Blankenberg. Voor een prachtdrijf voor het gymnasium. Gymnasium wat weer die voortouw neemt. En hier voor die draai van de rustheid. Baie belangrijke tijd om die punten aan te tekenen. It's those golden minutes, Harry Skippers. The two and three minutes before and after half time. So many rugby matches have been decided. Freak the cock. He has a chance to restore, restore that seven point lead. Also, a lucht of Anki work from Achteraf. A hush around the year arc oh, really strikes it well. He drills it straight through the middle. Half time at the year arc oh, grill, and it is the host, Paul Gymnasium. It takes a 17-10 lead into the break. Just look at what it means to the school and to the fans. Yeah, the leerlingen van Perl Gymnasium wat op en af wip. Dis rustheid hier in die Perl. Maar die rustheid telling 17 punten vir Gymnasium, 10 punten vir Grey.
After a massive 33-12 win in 2023, Greg College has it all to do in the second half at the York Real Field of Paul Gymnasium. In the Sportsman's Warehouse, Premier Interschools clash, and there you see them in their huddle. This is what happened in that first half. A couple of mistakes. That was Philip McLaren being in front or playing out of an offside position. And I make sure that the opening will be open for him. And then, uh, good work by the gymnasium players. We saw uh, Marcus Miller and Kobus Blankenberg being heavily involved. That was uh, the little grabber. It came off the foot of a great college player, and that was why it was a five-meter scrum. And then a fantastic eighth man, Quinton Portgieter, the man crashed over despite the attentions of uh, the behemoth Heinrich Tron and that was uh, the first try of this match it gave uh, Paul Kim a 10 points to 3 lead great college as you would expect struck back and it was uh, they fly off Els Eden Felix with a beautiful show and go with all the attention shifting to school captain Peter van der Merwe Felix what are your snow? Net weer die krachtspel. Pieter van der Merwe. Then this was all about finesse. In the final minutes, Marcus Miller once again heavily involved. It was this little kick from John Le Green that set up this lead. Goed geplaatst de Skoppie. Moelman of ieder Marcus Miller. Aan Blankenberg, aan Blankenberg. Hij zet om neer. We said it's like a test match atmosphere at the Yard uh, Grill. Yeah, you could just see what that try meant to Kurbis Blankenberg and his side. They were very, very jubilant. And Helmut Lehmann, he's doing the talking right now. I'm sure a lot of that's got to do with what is happening at line out time. You do get the feeling that Gymnasium is just overcomplicating things for themselves. Lots of movement. And it's Aya Meyer who's disrupted that line out so well on the side of Great College. Great College will have that slight breeze with them in the second half. And uh, a school who has produced the most SA schools players and uh, the most SA under 20 players as well. And they trail only Paul Ruiz, who has produced uh, the most Springboks. Great College has produced 45. Their very first one was a man with the name of uh, Brookies von Brookhuizen. That was before the turn of the century. Jean de Bot says, okay guys, enjoy the second half as El Zeden Felix gets us going. Wolf finds grass. And it is uh, Kuchlinberg who does well for Chemiz. Davi Stemmet around the corner, he comes. Penalty advantage for a high shot. Jean de Bot, he's spoken about that in the first half. And he lays down a marker early in the second. That's why it's not a yellow card. Lem van Wijk just inquiring and Jean de Bort once again keeping the answer short and simple. Baldrar, die was daar weer stemmend. So'n bykie ongeluk aan die kant van Grey. Speler wat na sy, op sy knie ingegaan het. So'n bykie geglui daar. En die proces een hoogvat. Hoeveel nummers is jylle? 4 of 5? 5 en 5. Maak jylle nummers my duidelijker en verblit? Dankie. Let's keep an eye on this now. Will they keep it more simple? To the middle they go. Good line-out play. And Melt Fulyun finds a Blankenbach who straightens the line like he always does. Stemmet around the corner. He's well handled by Julian Cosmo. Asked to stay right there. John Legreen beautifully gets his uh, offload away to Jan Kuchlenberg. Gymnasium. Looking dangerous early on. Green attacks the space. Oh, yeah, Mayer is putting in some shift for Great College. Man in the white scrum cap. Penalty advantage to Paul Kim. They're starting the second half as they finish the first. Stian de Goede. Was that a grass cutter? Now Blankenberg turns the distributor. 
And that was a good play by Zander Smith, but there was penalty advantage. And the double blow by John de Bort, he wants another chat. It's a significant drop in the tackle there, so many, sorry, number two, dangerous to see What is Sternum? Sternum. He's very clear in his communication. As is uh, the Paul Chim coach, as the kicking coach, Louis Grinling, already on the field. And we saw this last week against uh, Afiz as well. You get different dynamics in rugby sides, but in the Paul Chim first side, the coaches call the shots. That is, uh, that is a, a, a matter of fact. Yeah, and the players, but precisely what they want to do. Samnasium, what going to do with the Freek de Kok, he had the ball neergezet. Dit om de 20 punten te maken voor gymnasium. Dus doe het stil in die perl. That'll change if this goes over. Strikes it well. At this time he pulls it just past uh, that left hand upright. Does uh, Freak to he's well watched this time. Full yun. Sean Legreen to Eli Williams. That was a, a flat pass. Heinrich Tron with a counter rack now. Sean Legreen on the right boot. Ruben Silier and Emmanuel Prince Lewis. Silier does well to turn around, loses it backwards. Opportunity now for Felix. He kicks it straight down the middle. Beautiful fielding of the ball by uh, Freak de Kock. Felix. Puts up a sort of a weird looking kick. And that's a good play by Marcus Moorman, the left winger. He played third side for Paul Gymnasium in 2023. Did Miller. Full unit. There's plenty of space. Can they get it through the hands? Koti Kotsa knows but only one way. Still they persist on the short side. Freak de Kok as well to protect the possession good defense by the great college skipper Lem van Wyk John Legreen and that's a great play by Alzeden Felix taps it finds uh, Stockenstrom who exits with the left boot he's not going to find touch though give yet another opportunity to Paul Kim and that was unfortunate for Marcus Moorman Lost it forward after losing his footing. And for more Yilda, the miss was hung here in the peril, the veld. Oppervlakte, die was not geweest. By a few times you have seen players that are good. It was not again here, look. Now that's unfortunate for Moorman. Just a, a little knock on the ground as he was uh, losing his footing. Interesting to see John Legreen. He lines up on wing on defence with Emmanuel Prinsler lining up as a fly half. Peter van der Merwe. Beautiful ball and a great line pick by the Tank Adams. Ethan Adams. Take a bow. The Tank is back. Ethan Adams from the shoulder of Peter van der Merwe. And the little town of Carriado in the Eastern Cape. Jumps from their chairs as their hero does it again. He's not just a tank, he's a fun tank. This is Ethan Adams. Look at the hard work he's done. Kort on Gekke. Peter van der Merwe krijgt the ball weg and he duiks slag. And then he's at one pad. This is the line to. This is what he was doing, Dear Adams. As he was doing. And that's the opportunity to make the same thing again. Gary Skippers. All the ingredients of an instant classic is being shown here on the Yale Creel Field today. 1994, the last time these two sides met in the poll. It was a Louis Kuhn inspired victory when Paul Gymnasium won by uh, 10 points to nil. And Louis Kuhn and his son Liam must be one of the only father son combinations to have picked up victories against Grey College. Liam Kuhn, the fly-off in uh, 2021 when Paul Chim defeated Grey College. Once again, deadly silent. Great to see 
Strike was good. But it's missed by Heinz Stockenstrom. Once again, it had to be very, very close because he kept on looking. He's got a wry smile. He thinks he's converted the try. But it's still a two-point lead for Paul Gymnasium. Two points. This is the difference. And it says all about this kracht meeting. Oh, yeah, Maya, for once, couldn't collect the kickoff. Julian Cosmo turning it over for Great College. Fantastic play by the strong number seven flanker. Now Ethan Adams sees space on the far side. Ruben Silje on the chase. That's good play from uh, the Great College fly off. Quickly taken at line out time. Into play by the. He's breathing pretty heavily. Yeah, I must say, Geniet is skate rechter. His communication with his players is work by good. As David Stem had gereed maak for hierdie lijn staan. Lineouts have been functioning a lot better at the start of the second half. They get them all going forward. Aya Mayat falls out of it. He does well not to collapse it. Rejoins the Zaya Mayer now. Paul Kamrasim get that train moving forward. The diesel engine has been started. Kracht spelt hier die voorspelers van Gymnasium. Melt for you. Kobus Blankenberg out the back. Green. Marcus Muller to Freak the Cock. They're dangerous. These outside backs of uh, Paul Gym. Two points the difference. Green. Koti Kotsa, what a tackle. Who else but Aya Mayer? John Le Green to Kubis Blankenberg. So nearly intercepted by Ruben Silier, but now Emmanuel Prince Lua. He was a double try scorer, Euro against Afiz. And back play, Blankenberg down again, the captain of Polchem. Green. A little soft or float. So nearly turned over by Dion Fente. Blankenberg, he's back up. He's well watched by Ayer Mayer. Nobody's made more tackles in this fixture than Ayer Mayer. Once again, great continuity. That bus pass looked forward. Jean de Bord is happy with it. De Priet, his dad, Jock, off the company. Pro Vantage. Julian Cosmo penalised this time. The margins are so, so small in Sportsman's Warehouse. Premier into schools rugby. Yeah, hand op die vloer. Voordat daar naar die bal toe gegaan wordt. Freek de Kok, hij die aan, hij gaat naar die pale korrel. Rechte besluit. Dit kan het een vijfpunter maak. 24 pulsating minutes that remain. Great college. They've got three hostels on their school campus. Murray House for the juniors, Brill House for the grade 10s and some of the 11s, and then Leith House, the senior hostel. Freak the cock. He's missed his last kick. But this is one he would expect to get nine out of ten times. He struck it well. The flags stay down though. And it's a couple of misses off the kicking tee for Freak the cock. And that might just come back and bite them. Although Heinz Stockenstrom has also not been successful with all of his kicks. Is it the cook? Is your copy, donkey? by the Spanish stelskoppers but he has the opportunity now Freak de Kok, he has to go yeah, you can see that there is a slight wind behind Great College at this stage Elzin Felix, chance on the counter attack now for the fly off gets past the couple, finds uh, Boer Kreer he does really well to recoil the tight head and change of direction by Stockenstrom Soft hands, Liam Santos. Liam Santos on the inside. Couple of meters out, Great College. Ruben Silier finds uh, the big Heinrich Tron. 
Patience needed now by Great College on the attack. Dion Fenter. Nice. Penalty advantage. They were called off it. Stock and Shroom, the little show. Ethan the tank. The tank crashes over. Another double for Ethan Adams. A hat trick last weekend against uh, Otaniqua. And the great college faithful has awaited for Ethan Adams to show his true worth. And the last couple of weeks, he's done more than just that. Ethan Adams, so short of the goal, and he can't even stop. But he's also very good with his feet. He's going to the top. Ben een kant trap verskoning. Is dit die verdedigers wat getlop wordt. Makkelijke twee punten die gaan bijgevoegd worden. And for the first time at the Yale Creel Stadium this afternoon it is Great College in the lead by 22 points to 17. They showed the patience that was needed. Liam Santos with a great break. Nou, this was special. Die, ja, die hele achter zei uh, onder arm aangeven wat hij wegkrijgt. Baie goed geweest. Dier Stokkenstroom. Nathan Adams, vlak voor die doelijn, kan hij niet gestopt worden. Nie. Fielded from the kickoff once again by Ayam Maya, originally for Great College. McLaren, back to Felix, tries to put that spiral on once again, and it's Sean Legreen. Whereas to go all the way back. That's a good strike from Tron Legreen. Stockenstrom allows it to bounce, strangely enough. Finds uh, Felix, who puts it on that uh, trusty old right boot again. Portrita, he's got a chance here to really crack it up. He's a fantastic runner with ball in hand, is uh, Quinton Portrita. Great college, turn it over, and Aya Maya sees some space. He's been a behemoth today, Aya Maya. Space on the outside, can they get it through the hands? Adams takes on uh, Marcus Miller. Good defense by the outside center. And that was so much space for Heinz Stockenstrom. He'll be kicking himself. Verdedigers van. Perl Gymnasium, wat niet in plek was nie. Heel wat ruimte hier achter die achterlijn geweest. Maar is een lijn staan wat wacht voor Perl Gymnasium. Five points the lead for Great College. 19 minutes remain. It's been a lot better at line out time for Paul Gymnasium. That was a late sack. It's a penalty to Paul Gim. Their line-out, Gary, has been a lot better in the second half. Definitief die woorden van afruchter Helmut Lehmann. Wat vrucht daar werp. Big names of Christ. The uh, Creel field over the years at Paul Gim. Names like Scott Berger, John de Villiers, Marius Hubert. And of course... The head coach, Peter Rousseau, a man who didn't play first team for Paul Gymnasium. Played for the seconds and thirds in his time at school. Yeah, and a man who also deal was from the World Beaker group, Grant Williams, Andre Pollard. Too many to mention by name. Great college. Once had 10 players on tour for South Africa. Likes of uh, Bismarck Duplessis, Adrian Strauss. Yanni Duplessis and company. All of a sudden, they're starting to make meters with ball in hand. And now Peter van der Merwe gets rid of a couple. The defense of Paul Gim up very, very quickly. Felix puts it into the Paul sky. And a fantastic kick. Freak the cock had a chance to get underneath it. And it's been the cock in the last five or six minutes who all of a sudden hasn't been striking his kicks well and looking rather unsure. He's such a vital cog to the wheel of Paul Gymnasium. That's a bit of unsecurity geweest there on the kant van the cock. And 
Another good lineup win for Marina Starling. And then Moore has found traction as well as the lineouts has improved. Julian Cosmo working through the middle. Good play by the man wearing number seven, Melt Yun. Fantastic take by Heinz Stockenstrom. But it was a great kick from Melt Yun. It'll be a Polchem lineout. Plaatsing van die skop tegen aan die kantlijn. Maar hier achter Stokkenstroom wat weet. Hij wil niet kans wachten, laat die bal wip niet. Fuljoen finds Eli Williams on the charge. Gets taken by his opposite number. Boer Kreer and a good tackle, Chandler Green. He's carried back by Heinrich Tron. You can see Gymnasium trying to be more direct. Blankenberg. He's well watched. And it's great college. You turn it over. McLaren. The nuggety scrum off. Career. Picks and goes. Sean Legree not supporting his own body weight at the rack. But it was Blankenberg who was too ball on the ground. He was too isolated. He was too isolated. He was too isolated. He was too isolated. I was there. As soon as he came, he moved away. That player can't help but get to ground. You do get the feeling that, uh, as we see, Ethan Adams not, or LZ and Felix not finding touch, and uh, Freak de Cox's nightmare continues. Heinrich Tron loses forward. And I'm not sure whether de Cox has a bump or, you know, got injured somewhere. He was down earlier. But all of a sudden, the second half has turned into a bit of a struggle for the Paul Gymnasium fullback. What I was going to tell you, both Peter van der Merwe and Kurbis Blankenberg is being so well watched that it's creating opportunities for Ethan the Tank Adams and Marcus Miller on the outside to sort of uh, show their worth. And it's Adams who's having the better of Miller so far this afternoon. Great attacking platform for Great College. It's a good scrum. From Paul Chum once again. Eli Williams has definitely put in the hard yards this week. A paar krampen ook. Wat nou dier kom hier in die tweede helft. Die man een gereed maak weer voor die vaste scrum. Vijf punten. Vijf punten verskil tussen die twee spannen. Still to come on Super Sports Schools this afternoon, a titanic clash between Paul Ruiz Gymnasium and uh, Paul Boisai at the Marcoder Fields in uh, Stellenbosch. Van der Merwe on the chase. Peter Van der Merwe with a try. Beautifully worked, Elzid and Felix, the magician. From villain to Euro goes Elzid and Felix. He was chastised after their loss against JP High School for Boys. But he's putting on a clinic in Paul today. Loskakel. Green wat nie in die line was nie. Geen dek verdediger nie. En a makkelike drie. Goed raak geseen. En weer is dit Felix. Die manse visie. Hy is die man wat die drie verseker het. Stockenstrom to put Greg College into a 12 point lead. That's a beautiful conversion by the fullback. 29 plays 17 with 13 to go at the Yar Krill. And Alzeden Felix, the man of the hour. Both him and Ethan Adams. And the timing of the run from Van der Merwe. And this is where his class really showed. He could have tried to pick it up and lost it forward. As Ayamaya yet again takes from the kickoff. He's putting in some shift, the number five lock. Heinrich Tron crashes into contact. Uh, and then uh, Alzeden Felix so nearly locked it forward. He did well to recover, but then kicks it directly into touch. How oh, he managed to regather that as we see Josh O'Neill take the field. He's a very important replacement. 
And it is Freak de Kok. Yes, he is struggling. He's limping. I got the feeling he was struggling with something, Harry, because it was that just all of a sudden that he went. It's just a little tug on the jersey. Totally legal. It was through the middle. Good rock, Sin. Is there a little momentum? A little sticky spell in the wedstrijd? But the wedstrijd can dry. It's not the man who has three drugs. It's not the man who has three hard work. It's not the man who has three hard work. It's another good scrum from Paul Kim and it wins them the penalty. Look at the delight on the face of Eli Williams. And they've uh, not let go of this match, not by any stretch of the imagination. Here in the paddle, Pratel van Gummy Guts. Yeah, Eli Williams powering through the Unfenter. His dad, Martin, played provincial rugby as well. And now it's a very big moment in this match. Ten minutes remain. The difference between the two sides is 12 points. Chemigats, it's well known right across the rugby fraternity. This won't be the first time that the year Creel has seen the 12 point deficit turned around. That's Darling who takes, and immediately they set. That rolling mall, just look how hard they're working. They peel to the right. And a penalty advantage. Liam Santos in from the side. They burst over. Who else? But Quinton Potrita. And that is the Chemi Guts we spoke about. Quinton Potrita, what a rugby player he is. Still in grade 11. It's his second try of the match. Man van Sieres. Vanaf die lijn staan hierdie keer Daling, die man wat rang. 16 voete, is het gymnasium sy voorspelers wat saamwerk. En dan is het ook die achterspelers, Marcus Moorman wat bykom. As Quinten Potgieter die doellijn sê, skille hier langs die losgemaal voorbij. En nou is die punte verskil 7. John Le Green. Taking over the kicking duties, the man from Klopmitz, he travels in and out to school every day. Played for the second side in 2023. Highly gifted rugby player. And he pulls that one to the left, the points difference, seven. That was a very, very important conversion. There's eight and a half minutes to go. Great College cannot defend this lead. They must try and play attacking rugby. As uh, Elzin Felix asks his forward, please move over, gents. I want to kick to the right-hand side of the field. High hanging restart. Taken in by Eli Williams of all. The tight head. Jean de Bot still communicating. He asks Melt Fulyun to use it. He kicks it straight up. Nobody wants it. It's tapped back, and now Peter van der Merwe. He shrugs himself loose from a couple of tackles. McLaren finds Felix. Sees that space. Doesn't quite get his angle right. And it's Melt Fulyun with a reply. Felix read that like last weekend's newspaper. Siabonga Kenny. We've hardly seen him in this match, and then he loses it forward. And a chance for Gymnasium. The double knock on. Play has not really gone the way of Siabonga Kenny in this match thus far. Well, a belangrijke omgekeerde besit geweest for Gymnasium. Al wat beter gebruik moest word. Darling wat goed doen, and dan die aangeef ook aan die kop van Stemmet. Good scrum by both packs. Chance for Josh O'Neill who gets it all. And who else but Aya Maya to pick up the scraps? 
A little pick and go. Philip McLaren finds uh, Alzeden Felix. Can he get his angle sorted this time? No. Straight down the throat of Josh O'Neill. He starts with a counter attack and now pace, pace to burn. Great defense. Oh, just look at that. Kept inside the field of play. It was a knock on. That's the call from Jean de Bort. Knock on from Emmanuel Prinsler. Knock on, Jean de Bot once again. Very concise in the way that he's refereeing this fixture. Julian Cosmo there in picture. He's played his part in a tremendous performance. Scrum skakel wat baie goed speel. Dit is Philip McLaren, jy het het genoem. Sy vaardighede ook net weer so gewaas. Hy is die man wat die scrum kan voel. Penalty, again at scrum time. Look at what it means to Eli Williams. The Chemi Guts coming to the fore. And they've bossed them all. So a chance for them to set up yet another one. Green makes no mistake. Perhaps a, a bit of a longer way to go, but this is a massive moment. Just a couple of minutes ago, Grey College was running away with it at 29-17. With three and a half or four and a half minutes to go, Balkham in the red zone. They've bossed them all. Can they do it again? They get it going immediately. Here comes the Chemi Guts. Here comes the Chemi Guts. They peel, but the ball still in the middle. They're making meters, they're making headway. No penalty this time. Miller. He makes meters with his carry. Meltful Yoon, Eli Williams loses it forward. Massive, massive moment. But they've won a penalty in each of the last two scrums. Can they do it again? Groot oomlik gewees vir Perl Gymnasium. Net hier, net te vannig opgekyk dier Eli Williams. En hy weer het, hy is te leergesteld. En hy sal het wil recht maak in hierdie vaste scrum. Route one ball, that's what Great College needs in this scrum. It will be a mammoth effort coming from Paul Gymnasium. Eli Williams and company. Here comes the shove. It's picked up by Santos. He goes on a run. Liam Santos. Emmanuel Prince turns around. He has the chance on the inside. He scored a couple against Afis. Santos, could he have held on to that one? Here comes the chance. It's a penalty advantage. John Green kicks it. The bounce. Bolchen Marciam. Try time. Chemi Guts. And it's very, very finest. You called it, Harry Skippers. 29 plays 27 with a conversion to come. En die rugby bal wat oefal is. En menigte man het al die wip van die bal vir hom gehad. Of teen hom gehad. Maar vandag is die wip van die bal in die gins van gymnasium. En die man wat druk, die is Marcus Moorman. Anvankelijk gedink, dit was nie die rechte optie nie. Maar die wip van die bal, die oefal bal wat wen. En die man wat sy oor op die bal hou, die is Marcus Moorman. Groot druk op die skouwers van Looskakel, Sean Le Green. This is what you practice for. Andre Pollard mentions it in Chasing the Sun too. This is your moment, Sean Le Green. In front of the whole of Paul. Stick to your routine. He does that well. He strikes it well. And it hits the upright. Great College lead by a cup. Hems in the Western Cape. Great College have trekked for a thousand kilometers they led by 12 with 10 minutes to go they lead by two gymnasium throwing everything at them big hit on josh o'neill they try and 
to run it out of their own 22. Darby Stemmett in possession. Chandler Green, his men on the outside over. Marcus Miller draws a great tackle. A penalty goes the way of him. Dion Fenter, who gets pinned. Drama at the Yard Krill. Chandler Green with a great kick. And this is it for Paul Kimnasian. Time on the clock, almost done. And the last seconds, the last seconds, what will be from this kraftmeeting? Perl Gymnasium, he has his stem. He knows he has to get his springers. 1868, Paul Gymnasium was founded. This is perhaps one of the biggest moments the Yaw Krill has ever witnessed. Trailing by 12 with 10 on the clock. Now they trail by 2. Time is done. And it's set, taken in the middle. But it's wrapped up by Julian Cosmo. It's held up. That is it. Is that it? Great College has done the unthinkable. They've come to the year crew after losing out to Jeffy Boys High School a couple of weeks ago. And they've dethroned Paul Gymnasium from the top spot in South African schoolboy rugby. Tears on the side of uh, Paul Gym. Tears of joy will run through the whole of Bloemfontein. Old boys unite behind the pride of uh, the City of Roses. Player of the match, Oya Mayer, the lock of uh, Great College. What a performance he's put in. Harry Skippers, you'll take us home and I'll run down for an interview with the man of the moment, Oya Mayer. Well done on the span of Bloemfontein. Great what this kracht meeting win. Schooler rugby on his best. Gimme Gats, what gewijs is. Teruggeveg. 12 punten was die verskil. Maar goed gedoen. Teruggeveg tot aan die einde. Was het gemis. Maar as Grey College. Wat hierdie krachtmeting win. 2 punten die verskil. Dis in hierdie 2 topspanne. In Suid-Afrika. Johan Smit wat afskuip. Na onder na die veld. Ons speler van die wedstrijd. Nummer 5 op die rug. Die is A.J. Meijer. Slot van a Grey College. Grey sing saam, groot vreugde. Maar kom ons sluit aan, onder op die veld, is het Johan Smit wat gereed is. Kom ons sluit aan, Johan Smit wat nou gereed is, vir ons speler van die wedstrijd. Sportsman's Warehouse Premier Interschools Rugby, die jyl, jyl boonste rakke. Een van die beste vertoonvensters vir Zuid-Afrikaanse skole rugby. En een baie, baie lang tyd. Grey College wen hier die krachtmeting met 29 punte teen oor 27. En die speler van die wedstrijd, man van die oomlik, Aie Meijer. Aie, wat een wedstrijd. Ja, meneer, dit was een baie goeie wedstrijd. Gim en Grey, ons al twee het gekom, meneer, maar ek is baie blij, baie dankbaar ons kon boe uitkom daar so. Met 10 minute oor was jylle voor met 12 punte. Al word baie gepraat oor Gimmy Gats, hulle het teruggekom. Jylle moes verdedig val wat jylle werd was. Ja, Gimmy is het verseker, hulle het elke minuut, elke sekond gekom, gekom. Maar ek is baie dank wat ons kon om deerdruk. Die check aan jou hand word saam met jou vastgehou dier meneer James Willis. Een van die Sportsman's Warehouse bestuurders. En een gelkie, een sak gelkie vir jou, gaan jy deel met jou spaanmaats of hoe werk het? Nee meneer, ek gaan maar... That's the story then uh, from the Yaw uh, Creel Stadium of uh, Paul Gymnasium. It is great college. It traveled a thousand kilometers and uh, get away victorious by 29 points to 27. Just after this, another Sportsman's Warehouse Premier Interschools clash. Paul Ruiz taking on Paul Boys High at the Marcotter. <laughs>